WrestleMania Gosh. happened. And if you didn't know about WrestleMania, I feel like everyone should know what happened because it's just like it was so viral that I just feel like it just went everywhere. Probably the biggest event that's happened. Um, the Rock. Y'all know The Rock. He yeah. was there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to change my backdrop. It's very important I change my backdrop, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got to change my backdrop, boy. Let me see. I is that, is John, it... John Cena there, too? You did see John Cena there. So there was a, there was a ton of uh, people there. Obviously, I, I, don't, I don't know if y'all are... Uh, like, how much do y'all know about wrestling? Besides Maurice, how much do y'all know about wrestling? Like, right now. Right oh. now? I know who the the two main guys were, the two main characters, if that makes sense. And I know a couple... Oh, it makes a lot of sense. That's what it is. Go ahead. Um, I know a couple of the characters. I, I know... I've been knowing stuff from the game. <laughs> the game was a lot. <laughs> about, but as far as watching it, yeah, I don't know like what's, what's all happening. But I do know... If you can say a name, yes, I would know him. Like... I know the guy, uh, the Asian guy who comes out with the, uh, uh, his name Naomi was it Naomi? Uh, he comes out with the violin. Okay, so Shinsuke, oh, yeah, oh, I got you. Okay, yeah, I'm, yeah, here. Yes, I'm here. I'm here for you. I got you, boy. Yeah. I'm here for you. Um, the two main characters, as you know, is Roman Reigns and Roman, yep. Cody Rhodes. Those are two two biggest. And John is the funniest thing ever because last time you saw Cody Rhodes, he was like had no aura, high, yeah. highest version of a side character possible, right? And now this man, this man is literally this is a Zuko level of character development. <laughs> this, man, <laughs> this man, literally, the main character. Did he, so, was he partnering with the Miss? No, that was. Oh, we going back. That was John Morrison. I'm. Mm. That's somebody fully different. He was. Who's he part? He was part with Randy Orton and uh, I think the other guy, Ted DiBiase. That was like back in the oh, day. That was legacy. Yeah, no, that was I back in the day. Okay. He was really uh, scary, man. That, right, but see, WrestleMania 40 was super lit. Mauricio, I'm telling you, last time you said you watched it, you was what, like fourth grade? You said like fifth grade, something like that. Yeah, Who's the last character grade. you remember? Who do you remember? What's the last character you remember from this? I'll tell you, I stopped watching wrestling. He knows exactly. Because, Go ahead. Because CM Punk and Jeff Hardy, they had that beef. Oh, uh, that's funny. Oh, keep going. Keep and going. That's funny. And my favorite, my favorite <laughs> wrestler. Obviously, that's funny. Fourth grade. I don't know the. There was some real life shit going on, right? That is. But funny. I didn't know. I didn't know that. So I just thought oh they were gosh. beefing for real. And then they're like, <laughs> whoever whoever wins this match or whoever loses this match. Oh my gosh, that's so funny! And I, I remember like, that day I'm so. Sitting there, I'm sitting there, a, a Jeff Hardy fan, and I'm watching it, and he loses, and I'm just. I'm destroyed. I said, "F this! I'm <laughs> never watching wrestling again." So you didn't watch oh my gosh! It's great. So that's that should be the 25th. That's, that's 09, bro. That was 09 when that happened. Yeah. That happened in 09. I remember oh, that was in August. Biggest... Okay, I remember that, bro. Mauricio, I remember this day clearly. I, that's so funny. I'm, and that was the last time I watched wrestling, bro. It was a steel cage match. Cena Punk and Jeff Hardy, and Jeff Hardy lost. I was pissed. I was like, no way, this man jumping off ladders 50, that's a hood, that man, hood classic, he is the hood classic. Let me see what I'm saying, y'all might have talked about it, but how do you feel about various influences like Paul Brothers and Speed being involved? Well, yeah, we'll talk about that as well, I got you, we're going to yeah, talk we, about that. Yeah, that we ain't got that yet, we'll get there. Video, the clip. That, 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 that's, that's a great clip, though, when he got I'm kicked, did the cap come off? That's a great <laughs> Hey, slow-mo, that's a great clip. But, bro, when, when when Jeff Hardy lost, and then the next week CM Punk came out with Jeff Hardy's theme and face paint, that's some of the best heel work I have ever seen. Yeah, everybody in there was so, bro, everybody was so happy. They're like, oh, my gosh, Jeff's back. And he took off, and it was CM Punk with all his gear on. I said, bro, ain't no way. CM Punk was great heel, but everyone made me hate him so much. I, I that's the last. That did so well for he was such a good heel. Mauricio literally lost. I love that. That's, that is good heel work, boy. Good job, CM Punk. He back to trolling um, again. He's still trolling. Yeah, but he's a good guy now. He good. He really? he trolling. Not to he me. is a good guy. No, but he always hate. Yeah, I feel it. But is Jeff the, Hardy was on some though. He the was heel? on some. Is, so. is the Rock the heel? Rock, he a great heel too. Yeah, he was a great heel. He Roman Reigns and The Rock. Roman Reigns. Okay, I'll tell you this. So for to to catch up and John also catch up too, because I don't, you know obviously you don't know too much about what's happening. Wrestling for like ten years was awful. <laughs> just to be on, it was just pure. And I tried to watch it. And Austin, he he, he Austin, he's big re- into wrestling as well. So he'll tell you a little about this. To me, especially, it was awful. I stopped watching wrestling when John Cena won another Royal Rumble. I was so pissed. I was like, bro, he keeps winning. And they did another rematch. John Cena versus The Rock. 
it was supposed to be a once in a lifetime thing they did it again so John can win. I said, that's freaking stupid. CM Punk definitely should have main evented that. Pissed me off. I was done. I said, let me watch football. So as time goes on, COVID happens, right? Roman Reigns, he, you know, he, he has a diagnosis. Roman Reigns before before COVID, he had, he had diagnosis and he had leukemia. He, everybody hated him. They didn't like his character. But then when he got that, you're not going to boo him, right? They cheered for him. They were happy because you can't boo that man no more. This is a real life serious event. He comes back with Paul Heyman. I don't know if y'all know who Paul Heyman is, but he comes back with Paul Heyman and reinvents his character, becomes a heel. And it's the best heel work. It's such good heel work that he literally is the main event of the key main events. Like he's the guy in the company. Usually the good guy is the guy in the company, yeah. but the bad guy is the guy in the company. Yeah. He's the tribal chief. That's his, that's his character. You hold up a one, right? You know, Austin, hold up the one, but you hear me. Well, hold a hold up that one. He had that shirt too. He had that shirt. We went to San Antonio to watch the Royal Rumble. And, the, and in San Antonio, the whole vibe of San Antonio was wrestling influence at its highest degree. I think someone stopped Austin. This, and he, I think he had the shirt. So, you know, someone is a grown man. So they ain't no like child, ain't no teenager. There's a grown man with his wife. Hold, hold up the one. Hey, we, we had good, good vibes because wrestling, it was like the vibrance of wrestling was coming back. Unfortunately, The Rock didn't come. We thought he was going to come in that one. And Maurice was pissed because we thought, we thought The Rock was going to be in that show, but it took him a year. He came a year later, so we just come. We're always just a little early. It, that's just how our life is. This motherfucker but, love Dallas, bro. He always going to these Dallas shows. Jerry probably give him an extra Yeah, time. getting that money up under the table <laughs> But the thing is, look, the, the last year's Wrestlemania was in Hollywood So we thought that, you know, it only made sense For him to come to the Hollywood Wrestlemania When he goes to the Philadelphia Wrestlemania Like, you know, it's like, what the <laughs> Like, what are you doing, bro? And Maurice, he went to Raw and then when he went to Raw, the very next week, The Rock showed up. He didn't show up on the one Maurice went to spend his money for. Chicago, but the next bro. week, what? He went to the Chicago one. That's the when the one. Cody Zeller, bro, in the back. I mean, not Cody Zeller. Uh, Cody Zeller. He's Cody talking about some basketball. Cody, Cody, Cody yeah, Maurice he beat. <laughs> and that was a great show, too. And Maurice missed on that because The Rock likes to avoid Maurice because he knows that's his favorite character. So that's hilarious. <laughs> but, yeah, hey, wrestling actually looks kind of cool right now. Because Roman Reigns, I give all the credit to Roman Reigns. He was champion for almost four years, 1,300 days. Like, that's crazy. So when he won, when all the inter interference, if y'all watched the last five minutes of the match, you know, the, uh, John Cena comes in to help. Then the Rock beats John Cena. Then the ding, the dong comes on. Like, you know, the oh, bell, and then it goes dark. And the Undertaker, you know, it comes back, and the Undertaker's there. Oh, yeah. I got you watching it. I'll be seeing it on my TikTok. But that, it's my just shit. chill. No one, no one, <laughs> no one that, expected it. No one I, didn't, expected I thought it would be Stone Cold, honestly. I thought it would be Stone Cold. Too. But they ain't giving enough money, I guess. And then they chose Slam the Rock. And then Cody, you know, and then and there's, there's even more to it. Roman Reigns, he has the chair. And then, you know, Seth Rollins, this is also this. I, I don't know if y'all know who these character is, but he was a part of a group called The Shield. And then Seth Rollins betrayed Roman Reigns back in the day, but hitting him in the back with the chair. Roman Reigns remembers that in the moment, long, long term storytelling. He remembers in the moment he hits, instead of hitting Cody, the person he should be paying attention to, he hits Seth Rollins. And then Cody takes advantage, hits his move three times. One, two, three. Everybody go crazy. The three, when you hit. When they said three, you could tell like the crowd, like you could tell the burst that the crowd, like it's just, it wasn't a normal three. It was ah, like everybody going crazy for the, the three. But the announcer was crying. Right? She was. It was emotional. Boy. Even Seth Rollins was crying. Everybody was crying. But everybody in the main, all the characters, John Cena, Seth Rollins, everybody in the ring with Cody, Randy Orton holding them up. Randy it was, yeah, I don't know why, but it was a moment. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted that to be the greatest moment in WrestleMania history. Because, I mean, I still was crying because like his family's never won. They well, why John cooked that? What was better? What was a better moment than that? <laughs> what the, he's like, uh, what you, <laughs> wait, was that WrestleMania? I, I'll probably I like the Hell in a Cell match. I, I'm pretty sure that was WrestleMania. Which one? Uh, the, uh what's that dude name? He, See, Lewis, okay. I still, I don't remember names, bro. Um, wait, look, hey, Austin, you said Undertaker and Triple H. Austin was like, said Undertaker wait, and Triple H. No, Undertaker and uh, the Sock guy. I forgot his name. Oh, that one, that, that one, WrestleMania. That one no. Yeah, that one. It's a great match, but that one, WrestleMania. I guess you can give it. Oh, you're talking about uh, Mick Foley? Yeah, Mick Foley. You're talking about Mick Foley. Oh, there we go. But every 10 years, something special happens. WrestleMania 50, man, that's going to be, what the heck, that's going to be, that's going to be freaking the same, boy. WrestleMania 50, boy. Um, Are we dog? We're gonna be 35? 35. Good God, we got some kids watching WrestleMania 50. Holy shit. 
some of these, hey, there's gonna be a point. Some of these players gotta stop coming back, man. They're gonna be too old to come. The Undertaker <laughs> barely got that choke slip off, man. Probably- oh, no, yeah, that, that man retired. That man is retired. I know, but like I said, we, they can't, can't have too many more of these. Uh, these- <laughs> yeah, that man, this okay, your shoulder while it's up there that we talk. Yeah, hey, The Rock, good. The Rock's good at selling, though. When The Rock get hit, he looked like he died. When he got he got speared by Roman Reigns, and it's like, he, 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 he was like, that's why like, he's like, his intestines came out. He screaming, but it's, he good at that. That, 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 that man is a legend at that point. <laughs> See, I was told by a coworker <laughs> that The Rock was supposed to come back this early. Like, why you said that? Because they why said, said uh, it? what's his name? Um, CM Punk got injured because he was supposed to say, supposed to face Seth Rollins. Yes. On the first night, but he got injured and tore his tricep. Yeah. So that's yeah. the reason they brought back The Rock early. But he interior, I mean, his his arm looked good when he fucking uh, sabotage. What's his face? Uh, uh, Drew, Ma- uh, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. Yeah. So maybe he's just choking. I don't know. I mean, it's a torn tricep, and you can you can do that. You can obviously wrestling a match is um, much harder than what he did, just tripping that man and hitting him with the thing. Like, yeah, that's a funny moment though. That and then it became another meme. It was another meme when he turned around. That that became another meme. So it, WrestleMania was just full of memes, and that's great. That that's great content. I mean, we, we, uh, from the comment earlier, what do y'all think? Like, there's a bunch of YouTubers coming in, integrating themselves into wrestling. Logan Paul has a championship in wrestling as well. Like, what what do y'all think about that? No, he's great. Uh, I don't have a problem. Logan Paul was actually he's really good. If he's yeah. good, that's a, I don't think it really matters. It's a good thing they started with him, and not some other some other person. But yeah. he set the tone pretty well. If wrestling never fell off, then maybe I have a problem with it. But <laughs> that man, that man, that man will never get a shot ever. That man's a. That man. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, he has a good mic work. Like he's really good. Now, I, I, you know, interesting. Every WrestleMania they have. Uh, because this man, Logan Paul, makes so much money from Prime. Like, it's, it's the official sponsor, special, official drink of TKO, which is UFC and WWE, and the LA Lakers. And, like, like he that he making a bag. And that's li- that was literally in the middle of the ring was a Prime bottle. That's yeah, right. how big of a bag this man got. And then every time they got the Prime, they usually have the Prime mascot there. Last year, you know, when you expose their face, it's a famous YouTuber. Last year it was KSI. Oh, and then, it was? Uh, oh, I know. It was, yeah, it was, it was KSI last year, and then Seth Rollins – Put him through a table. This year it was I show speed, which was just and it they, they had a, they they had a sensor because he was cussing a lot, and he did the arf, arf, like the barking thing too. Barking. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at that and then Randy Orton kicked him and then if you when you slow mo that and the, <laughs> and the top comes. <laughs> I love that when the top comes out he falls. That is the funniest meme I've seen that weekend. That's amazing. <laughs> And then he did the arf arf, and then hit that man with the RK on the table, bro. That man lay dead for many, many oh, you minutes. You think the table was supposed to break? Yeah, they thought the table was supposed to break. What's the table? It was fine. To, break? to me, it was fine. It didn't break. It looked because he just could lay there dead on the top of the table in front of them. It just it looked. <laughs> <laughs> it, look, it looked fine. I, I would trip that the table didn't break, but that that is funny, bro. Um, Austin, let me ask you, bro. What was the match of the night besides the um obviously main event? What was the match of the, or, or just any night? Just, just what was the, what was your favorite match? Let's see. Outside of that match, I would have to go with. Um, <clears throat> I have to say, Sammy and Gunther. That um, that match right there, Sammy Zayn being the one to end Gunther's six hundred sixty-six day reign is evil, <laughs> evil reign, boy. Six sixty-six. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like that was. Yeah, I say that. Yeah, that match. I say that one, and then probably the um, the Becky Lynch and um, Rhea Ripley. It's yeah, she put on some good matches. Oh, the very the first, first match, the very first yeah. match. Yeah, she put on some good matches. That, that was a that was a nice match. 